Hello everyone, my name is Jasmine, aka your fairy glam mother, and you are now watching Heartwork Creations. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this lime green halo eye. So first things first, I'm going to begin by hydrating my skin using Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Gel. And I'm going to apply that all over my face, adding it in nice and evenly. Next, I'm going to apply my primer, which is Smashbox Light Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I'm going to apply that all over my face as well to smooth out my skin and help my foundation from creasing. And next, I'm going to apply some C.O. Bigelow Rose Salve all over my lips because they've been getting pretty dry this winter. And once my skin is primed and ready to go, I'm going to start filling in my eyebrows using my Suavecita Eyebrow Pomade Pencil in Dark Brown. I like to begin by combing my brow hairs upwards and then softening my eyeliner a bit with the lighter. When filling in my brows, I like to start at the arch and I keep that the darkest point and just work my way towards the end of my brow. I'm going to continue to do the same thing on the other side. Continuing to use soft strokes, keeping it light-handed, and then I use my mascara wand side again to soften up any harsh lines. Next step would be to define my brows using some concealer, and I'm going to be using MAC Cream Concealer in NC15, and my Suavecita S204 brush. I also use a Morphe Duo Fiber Blending Brush to blend out my concealer. Next I'm going to go in with my Holy Grail, the Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC. This is going to help my eyeshadow from creasing and keep my eyeshadow colors nice and vibrant and pop in. And I'm also going to blend that out with my Morphe Dual Fiber Blending Brush. Once I'm finished priming my eyes, I'm going to set underneath my brow bone and my crease area with some Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder. And since it's now 2019 and we are bossing up, I'm going to use my Boss Mood Palette by Morphe. First I'm going to use a light brown shade as a transition color with my Morphe M441 brush and blend that all out in my crease. Then I'm going to tap into this bright lime green eyeshadow using my M433 brush also by Morphe. And since it's a halo eye, we're going to go all the way to the inner corners. Then I'm going to take that same shade using a Morphe M169 brush and apply that shade underneath my waterline as well. Then I'm going to use the darker lime green shade using an M433 brush and blend that shit out. To add more definition to my eyes, I'm going to take that same pencil brush and dip it into my darkest shade of green and focus on the outer corners of my eyes then blend that out with my Morphe blending brush. Then I'm going to go ahead and use the two shimmery green shades on the palette with a wet MAC 239 brush and apply that all over my lid. I like to use a couple layers to make it nice and sparky. And for this look, I'm switching it up from my typical black eyeliner and using a liquid lipstick by Lime Crime in the shade Shroom to line my eyes. This color will complement the look. <laughs> I like to start from the center of my eye and just work my way towards the ending of my brow. I like to create a little triangle and then just fill it in. Keeping my strokes nice and steady and long and just connecting them all. And my Simply Simmons 3.0 spotter brush helps me get those really crisp, clean, sharp lines. And you can get 
that brush at your local Michaels Arts and Crafts store. Then you want to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side, making sure that they look as even as possible. The goal is to get these bitches sharp. Next is mascara, and for this look, I'm using my Essence False Lashes Mascara. This mascara is balm and cheek. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply my Kiss Lashes, and these are in the style 01. And when I apply my lashes, I like to use some tweezers and place them in the center of my eye first and kind of drag them outwards. Now that my eyes are ready, I'm going to move on to my foundation. I'm going to use my current favorite foundation, which is the Fenty Pro Filter Foundation in the number 230. And to apply that, I'm using some Target brand foundation blending brush. I found it in the makeup section and it was only like 10 bucks, but I've had it forever and it works really, really good. And you want to make sure to blend down to your neck because nobody likes looking like they're wearing a mask. Okay, so blend it all the way down. Since this foundation is a little more on the matte side, I like to focus on one area of my face at a time so that it doesn't dry up on me. Next, it is time for the concealer. And I like to use MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15, but I like to personally use the Tarte Shape Tape applicator brush because it just makes my life a lot easier. I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes, my forehead, the center of my nose, and underneath my cheekbones, and a little bit on my chin to highlight all those areas and just brighten up my face a little bit. Then blend that shit out. To smooth it all out, I'm using that same Target brush with my Suavecita S200 brush as well. After that's done, I'm going to go ahead and set my whole face with some Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Powder and I like using latex free makeup sponges for that. To contour my face, I'm going to use Benefit's Hula Bronzer and I'm going to go ahead and apply that right underneath my cheekbones and a little bit around my forehead and jawline just to give my face a little more color and then just a little bit on my nose as well but I like to keep everything really light-handed to not, to not make it look too harsh and just keeping it looking as natural as possible. For my bronzer, I love using my Suavecita S104 brush. And now, allow me to introduce the Fenty Beauty Diamond Balm in how many carats? I'm gonna wet my brush a little bit with some MAC Fix Plus spray. Riri got down with this stuff because I am shining bright like a motherfucking diamond. Set my brows in place. I'm going to be using some Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara. And to set this masterpiece in place, I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm going to apply a little mascara to my bottom lashes and blend in my top lashes with the false lashes too. Now I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this MAC lip liner in the shade Oak. You can tell it's my favorite because the name is completely faded off now. For the final step, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Lime Crime Velveteen in Shroom, the same shade that I use for my eyeliner. To just tie the look in all together. Okay, and she is ready. 
thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this look and if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and if there are any looks that you want to see in the future go ahead and comment that down below see you next time bye